getting an oil change at the speed co here in Gary, Indiana, plus some other cluster duck stuff, y'all. Mm, stay tuned. What's up, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Trust Trucker channel. Y'all, have y'all ever just had one of those bad days where you wake up at four in the morning, can't get back to sleep, you know, you're like, well, you know, how about let's just go ahead and go take a shower. Had your alarm set for 6.15, but you figure, well, you can't sleep. Let's go ahead and crank the truck up. Let it get warmed up that way after I get the freaking shower. I can go on down there. I can get the um, to a tank wash where my trailer's at. Be ready so when they have me a load, I'll be ready to roll. Did not quite happen that way, y'all. I get up, I crank the truck up. Buzzer's going off, buzzer's going off, buzzer's going off, buzzer's going off. I'm dressed, the buzzer's still going off, and I'm building up air pressure. Go outside, the air dryers freaking steadily purging and hissing off. I'm like, son of a mother. So I have to crawl up underneath, take the freaking purge valve out, clean it up real good. I'm like, okay, well, shoot. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's get it up. Now I moved it, put it back together, clean, took it apart, cleaned it up real good, put it back together, crank the truck back up. We're fine. I'm like, okay, good. We're good. Go to move up closer to the front of the store because, you know, I'm part way in the back 40. So I'm like, well, let's go ahead and move up closer. I go I do that. And then what happens? I look and I realize, crap, I've been sitting here at a Petro since Friday. Here it is Monday morning. And now I look and I'm like, when I go back and look through the purge valve kit, let's see when the last time I replaced the dryer was, when I think I'm like, Man, I'm only a thousand miles from having to have the oil changed. I didn't realize I was that close to getting to any oil change. I should have went ahead and changed it this weekend while I was sitting here. You know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I did not. So I'm like, okay, well, let's hurry and get dressed. Go get the shower. Run over. Freightliner opens at 6. I can get in there in time. I can, I can get the purge valve kit. Then let's go ahead and come on over to the Speedco. Speedco opened it. A seven, I can get the oil changed by the time I got a shower, got over to, to the thing. Um, Freightliner got my purge valve kit. I'm like, let's do that, let's get it oil changed. And now, guess what? Huh? Wheel still leaking too. He said it hasn't hit the brakes yet, but they can see where it's starting to weep. I'm like, son of a mother, do you want to change that? Yes. So, why are you here? I mean, it rained a lot this weekend, so I didn't want to freaking, you know, deal with it. It was cold. I haven't felt good lately, so I didn't do anything. I'll be honest. I did paperwork and stuff and payroll and stuff, and that's it. I just, I just sat in, in the truck all weekend. I didn't go anywhere. So, yeah, pretty messed up. The, you know, the day that you're getting ready to run, now you find the issues on the truck. That is my fault. That is absolutely my fault. Y'all, I suggest if you're sitting somewhere for a long weekend reset, go through everything. That's my absolute fault. I should have checked the records while I was sitting there. Should have checked the maintenance records just for shits and giggles. But I just didn't realize I was that close only a thousand miles away and you know what's the point in going a thousand miles so I mean I still have to get a change sometime this week then if that's the case so I'm like well let's just go ahead and get it done well then you find a wheel seal well if you got a wheel seal he said it hasn't hit the brakes yet so see that's the time to get it changed he said you know I, I could go on it if I want but it hasn't hit the brakes yet so at least I won't have to have brakes you know changed like a sump once the oil hits the brakes, they won't they won't clean them up, put them on. Some small shops will clean them up, put them back on. Some shops won't. Of course, the speed code, I'm sure they will not. So it's a good thing we got it when we did. Anyway, 
this is trucking life y'all this is what happens in trucking you do what you can i mean luckily the it's a nice sunny sunny day today because today's the day for the eclipse so yes by the time y'all get this video it will be you know two days out it'll be wednesday and the eclipse happen on monday but what can i say y'all i'm gonna be behind on my stuff but yes, y'all, truck maintenance, 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 maintenance is key. If you want to stay rolling, spend the money on it. Do I want to spend the money on all that? No, I do not. Times when the economy is rough right now. But you need to spend money. Try to catch your maintenance before it gets too bad. So, I mean, if I let, if I keep on going and not worry about fixing the wheel seal now, it's just going to cost more later on. So, let's just go ahead and knock it out now. Well, y'all, update. This sucks. It is 12.45 and I'm still here at the Speedco because they found the wheel seal leaking. Both of them were starting. I've noticed that it seems like I'm losing traction. Um, I go around corners somehow. It's like I'm like the wheels are spinning when I want to take off at a red light. And want to turn so I don't know what the deal is what if what the, what is all is but wheel suit both wheel seals were leaking on both sides then now my air dryer I can't build up more than 75 psi so now of course speedco can't really do that so I've got to once they get the wheel seals changed out I put in a dryer first I try to purge kit that didn't work. It was still still bleeding off. Would go up over 60 psi with a brand new purge kit. So, turn around, put a got an Uber with the Freightliner, two and a half miles down the road. Got a brand new dryer. Come back, put that brand new dryer on. It stopped popping off. It stopped bleeding off. But now it's sitting there and it's freaking it only build up 75 psi. So I mean, if it ain't one thing, it's another. This is. Not a good Monday, y'all. Not a good start to the week. Oh, well. What do you do? This is trucking, y'all. He's out. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go.